Uh, okay, uh, today let's uh, look at some examples for chapter 10 uh, for so solve those piping problems. So before we talk about detailed uh, examples, uh, let me give you a summarized strategy of solving pi piping problems. You know, piping problems could be very important, right? And the, but it could be sometimes tricky and difficult to solve. Okay, so it's very important to have a problem solving strategy. Okay, so uh, for piping problem, there are three uh, common cases. Okay, three type of problems. Okay, uh, case one. Let's look at the, all the cases, all the three cases separately. Case one, first type is the, the, the most straightforward one. So the goal is to find the, the frictional head loss, HF, okay? Uh, with the knowledge of the length of the pipe, the diameter of the pipe, and the flow rate of the, in the pipe, okay? If you don't know L, D, and Q, you should be able to calculate the HF pretty straightforward. Okay, use the uh, Darcy Wiesbach equation, right? F, uh, H F equals F L over D V square over two G. You know everything other than the F. So you can use Moody diagram, and you can use the bottom axis of the Moody diagram because you know the flow rate, you know the velocity, right? You know the diameter, you know the viscosity. So you should be able to find a Reynolds number. So you should be able to use the bottom axis of the Moody diagram and find an F in it. Then you can calculate the loss. Okay, so the first type is simple, straightforward. Case two, type two. The goal is to find the Q, the flow rate. Okay, goes to find the flow rate. You don't know the flow rate, so you need to calculate the flow rate for a existing piping system or a design piping system. Okay, uh, I put this category into two subcategories, A and B, case 2A and B. Uh, case A is you are given the loss, okay, how many feet, how many meter of loss is given, and the length and the diameter, right? If you know the, the loss, then remember in the Moody diagram that the top axis, right? Top axis need the HF. If you have HF, you can calculate the value of the top axis. Then you can find your F, okay, for the from the Moody diagram. Okay, that's straightforward too. Okay, but what if you don't? You know, this, this this case too is you don't know the flow rate, so you don't know the velocity, right? You, you, you cannot find the Reynolds number without the velocity. So so you, you cannot use the bottom axis of the Moody diagram, right? Uh, but if you know HF, instead of bottom axis, you can use the top axis of the Moody diagram to find the friction factor, okay? Then you should be able to, if you have a friction factor, if you know the HF value, you can still use the Darcy Wiesbach equation to find the unknown V. Okay, so this is the uh, case two A, right? It's relatively straightforward too. But case two B is more complicated. If you are not given HF, you don't know the HF. You only know L and the D, and then you are trying to find the flow rate. Okay then it seems like a more complicated. So we can use the bottom axis of the Moody diagram. You don't know the Reynolds number. You cannot use the top axis either because you don't know an HF, okay? So the solution is that we need to use iterative method. I will show you later in an example, okay? So two subcases for case two uh, to find the flow rate in the, in the piping. So case three is to find the diameter, okay? Type three problem is usually mostly in the design process. You, when you design a piping system, you want to determine the diameter of the pipe you're going to use, going to design, okay? So for this type of problem, you have to have flow rate, 
you know, if flooring is one of the design requirement, usually is a is is a design, uh, what you need to design, right? What you need to, need to given during the design, okay? The flooring you need to given. Uh, length, of course, you design a piping system, you, you you should know how long the pipe is, right? It should be given too, and then the HF the loss. Loss also a is is a specification in the design. You know when you design a certain piping system, usually your boss will give you a, a, a maximum loss, right? The, the 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 loss of the whole piping system. Okay, so with the knowledge of the flow rate, length, and the loss, okay, you should be able to design a pipe. Uh, with certain diameter to find out a diameter, okay? So that's the goal. Go is to find the diameter of the pipe. So uh, look at this. Since you don't know the diameter, can you use the bottom axis of the Moody diagram to find the loss, uh, to find the, the friction coefficient? Bottom axis is Reynolds number, okay? Without the diameter, how do you, can you ca calculate the Reynolds number? There's no way to find the Reynolds number, right? And the, Remember, in the top axis of the Moody diagram, you also need a diameter, okay, to calculate the top axis value, okay? So without a diameter, you're not able to use top axis either, okay? So then what you're gonna do? Also, you need to use the iterative method, okay? No choice but to use the iterative method, okay? Okay, now ne ne next, let's get, let me give you four examples. Okay, recording according to the four types, actually three major types and the two subtypes, right? From for case, case three, or case two. Okay, let me give you uh, several more examples. Several examples. Here is the example, uh, first example. Okay, uh, example ten point three in the textbook. Okay. So uh, the problem is like this. It's a pipe 1,000 meter long, okay? Diameter is 0 0.2 uh, meter, okay? Viscosity is 10 to the negative six meter square per second. That's water, okay? The flow rate is given 0 0.05 cubic meter per second. Water flowing the pipe with this flow rate. The pipe material is asphalted cast iron, okay? The goal is to, the question is to find the HF, the frictional head loss. Okay, so you see a piping problem like this. So you ask, for the first question you ask yourself, so which case is this, right? So you have a strategy here, okay, three cases. Obviously, we try to find the HF, it's case one. Okay, let's see, do we know L, D, and the Q? Yes, we do. Okay, we have L, we have D, and then we have the flow rate. Okay, so it should be straightforward to find the loss for this pipe. Okay, it is case one, so it should be straightforward. So the case one, you know, when you are going to use the bottom axis of the Moody diagram to find the 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 F, right? You, you know, the equation is this, right? The Darcy Weisbacher equation. That's how you what you use to find the fictional head loss HF, right? So in this equation, you need to find the F. Okay, bottom axis of the Moody diagram, Reynolds number is V D divided by nu. Okay, velocity. Well, it's not it's not directly given, but it gives you the flow rate. So it gives you the diameter, so you know the cross-sectional area. So velocity is flow rate divided by cross-sectional area. So in this problem, is one point five nine meter per second. Okay, with that diameter is directly given, viscosity is given. So your Reynolds number is three point one eight times ten to the five. Okay. So with Reynolds number, you also need uh, the right axis, right? The surface roughness. So since it's asphalted cast, cast iron from the table in the textbook, you find your, uh, your, your K is 0 0.12 times 10 to the negative three meter, that's K. So, but in the right axis of the Moody diagram, you need uh, the relative roughness, right? So K divided by D, that's what you need. So the diameter is 0.2. So the relative roughness is 0 0.0006, okay? So with this two, bottom axis and the right axis, you should be able to find your 
f value from the Moody diagram. f is 0 0.019 for this case. Okay, then apply the Darcy Weisbach equation. f l over d v square over 2g. You have everything in the right hand side, right? So find your loss is 12.2 meter. Okay, so that's the answer for this problem. Okay, this is 10.3.